Welcome back to Let's Play Disgaea 7. My name is Karsten. Well, we put things off for a bit due to not wanting a tremendously long episode every single time. But let's go ahead and finish up this episode, chapter, whatever. I'll show you the way, dude! Battle against the Soul Keeper Magistrate. Humanoids only. I don't remember if, aside from our, our one monster unit that I use for a bit of stats, I don't know that anyone else is considered a monster. Hell mode activation and total geo elimination. Alright, well, let's see how crazy they are. Whether you're an angel or a demon, everyone dies. We'll grow old and rot away one day. But if we become infernal treasures, we can preserve what makes us unique forever. It's an ideal way of life, don't you agree? If angels could become infernal treasures, I'd be the first in line. I can't bear to get old and die one day. I want to continue to be me forever. Ugh, unique? Please. I think you're just afraid of change. You don't have the courage to be who you are or accept that life isn't static. That's so fake. How can you call that ideal? AC4, what do you think of Nitra's little lecture? Let me know how you really feel. Nitra's right. There are lots of great things in this world that never lose their luster. You do understand me! So join me in my journey, you see? We can remain who we are forever. But being ourselves doesn't mean we always have to stay the same. See? Look at me! Because of everything I've encountered and all the fun I've had, I've grown so much! Each day is better than the last. It's like fireworks lighting up the night. I become a new and improved me every single day. I'm going to embrace living life with a bang, because that's what makes me, me. Fire! Wh what? See? The see I know would never say something like that. You'd never disagree with me. You're not see at all. Backfired on her? I'll mobilize the rest of the Shirofunes and pummel every single one of you into oblivion! Hell mode of C4 has been powered up. Distant shot. Defeat Nitra. Well, let's. I just have to k take care of the blue one. Might want to do some stealing. Archers are always annoying on the other end, other side there. use C4, but she does have hell mode ready, so I could do that. Yeah, I mean, you're level, what are you, level 15 with crap equipment, but... It's crit damage by 10% per panel away. Let's just have you move over 
here. And activate hell mode just so we get that done. Lit. Over here. have you guys hang back. In fact, spread out. away can't get you really I could hit all of you guys with that yeah, you move up there ish and cut you down come over here. get into there to get them. Actually, you get rid of all of them. You're not in range of that, right? Okay, you take care of them. Cannot get up further than here, though. Can hit them at least. Do that just so we see what it is. Need to get you guys some support skills so you can be marginally useful. Um, and then you go ahead and do that. Well, it's a later combo. So, how many billion damage did it do? Zero. It did zero billion damage. Which is kind of what we expected for that, but anyway. We should be able to get someone over here to take care of that Geo symbol. Very nice. Very nice. You're a rave. 
will go unmarked. We'll start with Grand Theft again. them taken care of. Giga heal yourself. And you're going to get hit with a Let's get rid of some of these guys first, honestly. Easily. Well, if we move you over here, can you take care of those two? Should be able to with the combo. Alright, you're both hurt a little, but with that many units gotten rid of, you should survive. I want to 
Get both of them and the blue one. But not the clear one, because I don't want it to clear before taking out or before changing to blue. And I might just have to get live with only killing one of them. We'll do that. in here and you come over here that way if they do jumpify you can't both get taken out at once and you go ahead and come up to here You can jump a fine, I think you should. I'm gonna come over here. You're gonna kill them. I'm gonna come over here. Why not? Yeah, you jumpify over there. And attack them. Mission's done. Now let's see what the consequences are. Ugh. I think Souls being held hostage is a real pain in the butt. I'm hungry! Can we go to a tea house or something? Can you hold up for a little longer, Master Moron? Leave it to me. The demonic gun. The soul inside it is telling me to cause a bigger explosion. Come on, demonic gun! I'm counting on you, Hichiriyama! Fire! Incredible! The light that C4 is radiating is blasting everyone in the vicinity away! It's the same as when my demonic staff and Suisin's demonic axe awaken. That means... The bond between C4 and the demonic gun has gotten even stronger! C4! Show him your worst! I see the 
souls inside Kurofune clear as day. I can fight without harming them. Just you wait, Nitra. I'll make you shine with all my might. Just like how you changed me once. Pichu Ryoma decided now was the time to unlock its true potential? Oh, I hate to admit it. But what a glorious sight. That's that. Nitra, you're next. I can't believe you managed to incapacitate all of them without hurting a single soul! I must report back to Cannon Line. Justice has arrived! Will this save us now? Soulkeeper Magistrate Nitra! I see the idiot Mecha Angel duo finally decided to show up. Communication, contact, and consultation are angel fundamentals. Meow. Sorry for getting here so late. Nitra! In the name of justice, we've reported your evil deeds to the Archangel! We've been ordered to bring you back to Celestia for punishment. Come with us, Meow. I humbly decline. Besides, what can Celestia do now? It's a little bit late, isn't it? No matter what anyone may say, I'll follow my dream of becoming an infernal treasure. You can't change my mind. Farewell. See? Wait! Nitra! Will we never be friends again? C4, keep your chin up. You still want to believe in Nitra, don't you? Huh? Uh, well... Um... You don't have to hide it. It's okay to trust that she must have her reasons and keep believing in her. Those who believe will be enslaved. No, wait. Uh, those who believe will be shaved. I mean, uh... I think you mean, those who believe will be saved. Yes, that! Just because you've been betrayed once, or because you're enemies, doesn't mean everything is a lie. I'm sure she has some kind of reason. If you continue believing in her, I know the day will come when you see eye to eye! Why are you so worked up about it? I'll keep believing in her until I understand how she really feels. Oh, allow me to show you my deepest remorse? I apologize profusely for the misunderstanding earlier. My bad, Meow. Please forgive me. Witty, please. I hid the locations of the lost souls because the angel Nitra betrayed Celestia and became a pawn of the Shogunate! You're apologizing on her behalf? Does that mean I should get down on my hands and knees too? No, there's no time for that. Our investigations revealed that the souls of the dead are being held in Slaporo. Huh? Slaporo? It's super cold there. That's the location of the Demodor stronghold, Grim Jufu. But why would they bring the souls there? We don't know, Meow. We've got eyewitness reports that Demodor Opener and the Demonic Fist are there, though, Meow. Demodor? Yes. He's normally protected by the Infernal Sanctuary. But if the reports are true, you won't need the founding weapons to approach. I'd love to take him on right away, too. But Celestia has to be neutral. Whether Nitra is involved or not, we cannot recklessly interfere with the Netherworld. Ugh, I'm so irritated! Leave Opener to us. 
Would you do us a favor and keep Kurofune and the Shirofune safe in Celestia? I want to find a way to save the souls trapped in them, no matter what it takes. Please protect them until I can. Security detail! <laughs> I see! Roger that! I swear on my life and honor of justice! I'll protect those souls with all I have! Okay, we'll go back to Celestia and ask the higher-ups about helping you out. Don't get your hopes up too high, Meow. Now, we must leave you with our catchphrase. All together now! So, it's finally time for Opener and the Missing Souls to show up, huh? Things are starting to get interesting. Everything will be right again if we can just put an end to Opener. All right, time to head over to Slap Poro. Father... Mother... It's okay to keep believing, right? The revelation of a sad reality. Yet I must face it. So, your friend betrayed you, huh? Yeah, that's gotta hurt. I've only got 20 hours left for manga submissions to the biggest event in the Netherworlds, Demicon! Wait, that's your sad reality? <laughs> A hundred pages to go for my draft copy. It's the bottom of the ninth. Two outs. It's game over. Give up already. C4 is backed into a corner. But in her darkest hour, the most sinister helper of all appears. Christine Higan! My manga belongs to me. And your manga also belongs to me. I'll help you meet the deadline. And so began the duo's do or die battle. Attack the printing company! Take that! If you don't extend the deadline, I'll blow you all up! Just draw your damn manga! Next time on Baku Bomb, final episode The Absolute Challenger. I can't ever finish my beloved manga. If the deadline's too tight, just pay more to get it printed super duper fast! Perilica? That's still a burden for the printing company. Oh, we didn't get a start of episode scene. Okay. We got some more quests, presumably to unlock... Yep, make a girl and Celestial Hostess. Ooh, we gotta get, uh... Some classes ranked up. Well, I might just work on doing that off-screen or something. Or later. Come again. Yes, yeah, how are you doing? Research. I'll wait in the shadows. Yeah, let's check our lost lambs. 
This is the hospital. Gotcha here. Uh, no metal of purity. May God watch over you. We do need to. I'll show you the way, dude. Over here. Do this as we do every chapter. with them right now. Until we can get two more levels, that's probably not worth bothering with. This we need a whole bunch more to actually get all the way up to level 9, which is the important one. Could get that up. Quite well. Now if we go over here to the class proficiency. guys. Okay, you are up to level 4 in Thief. May as well leave you there. Turns. I'm wondering if that caps at 99 or if we just happen to be at 99. Guess we'll find out. Anyway, on to I'll show you the way, dude. episode 11. Shout out with opener. And looking at that big fortress in the snow like that reminds me of some of the like the second half of Valkyria Chronicles 4. Monsters only? Well, that ain't gonna happen. Right, let's go. So this is from Jufu of Sapporo, where the Dimador commands his nether army. <laughs> and it's freezing. Well, Slaporo is known for its bountiful nature and consistently harsh environment. They call it the Netherworld of Trials. It's 
freezing. I want to go home to my Kotatsu right now. <laughs> I guess testing your spirit is out of the question, Yeyasu. That angel, Spice or whatever, said this is where Demador Opener is, right? Yeah. Apparently, he rarely leaves his infernal sanctuary, so this is our only shot at him. <sighs> There'll be hell to pay if he gets back to the sanctuary. It's gotta all end here in Slaporo. Hey, check it out! It's the Nether Army! There's a whole bunch of them! Listen up! They have superior numbers. Don't let that make you careless. You have to watch your backs at all times. Yes, sir! Uh, that's a lot of guys. What are we gonna do? Huh? If there are so many of them, that must mean the king of the pond is somewhere around. Let's get warmed up. Keep on your toes and tread lightly. Ugh, we're up against Benny Kage, too. It'll be hard to slip away. The ones after the seven founding weapons are sure to appear. Let them come. This formation has already ensured their defeat. That was good timing for once. It's time for us to snatch the weapon while they're confused. Let's do our worst! Episode 11, Showdown with Opener. I like the music. Also doing everything they can to keep from having to uh, actually have Crimson Dark have a in-game model. Or in-battle model. They're all facing the other way. Interesting. Anything here? Actually, no, let's have you come over here. You two out. You come over here. Take you two out. These guys are level fifty. It seems seem they seem a little weak, but Oh, my God. 
One more push. Actually, let's have you... You'll have to go ahead and move up here first. And take them out. Face that way. Take them out. I'm up here. Don't have anything that'll hit them together. We only have one target attacks anyway. Take them out. Go unmarked. Come over here. Take them out. Clear. Come over here. Braveheart's the one that we want, right? I always forget. It increases attack. <laughs> I think I've been bested. <sighs> one more turn. Your shogun has returned. Over here. Over here. Move here. Grab that axe. And then kill them. That was stupidly easy. The Nether Army is in complete disarray. <laughs> They're a mess. This is our chance to sneak in. Someone may have built an ugly fort here, but it's still the same old slap Slapporo. It's freezing cold and gives everyone the same harsh treatment. Oh man, I miss this place. You miss it? Does that mean you've been to Slapporo before he gone? Been here? I'm from here. Slaporo's my home netherworld. Wow, no way! I'm so curious about your childhood. What was it like? Well, my parents weren't around. Every day here was a struggle between life and death for as long as I could remember. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have asked so casually. It's fine. I don't mind talking about it. My life changed when I met the previous Shosai. My master, Rekka. Huh? This is the first I've heard of this. Yeah, because I never told you. I attacked her, 
trying to steal food and stuff. But she trounced me. Then she gave me a sweet Ohagi rice ball and said I should be her disciple. How was that? She didn't give me a choice. You know who she had with her? Her daughter, Fuyo, and her top disciple, Mugai. Fuji's parents. Okay. What? You never told me that! Wow! What were his parents like? I bet they always did their worst and were greedy as hell, right? And when they got mad, they were like, I'll cut you down! Probability they vomited blood often, 100%. You really nailed it. I'd definitely do my worst, but I've got nothing on my old man. Actually, Fuyo and Mugai were very kind. They didn't know me, but they smiled and shared their food with me. Fuji's parents were nice? <laughs> it's like I thought. You really are descended from kind, caring warriors. No, you're wrong. Master Rekka, Fuyo, and Mugai. As I ate their ohagi, I felt the warmth of kindness for the very first time. But empathy isn't always good. In the end, Master Rekka, Fuyo, and Mugai were all too kind to live in the netherworlds. That's totally different from my experience. My shithead dad full of love and kindness? <laughs> I can't see that at all. Hmm, seems there was some character development in one way or another there. That's probably not too bad of a fight, but we're... We've been going for a little while now. So we'll just, uh, now we didn't check the store. Hey, we need one of those, don't we? Hey, our customer rank went up, too. Thanks. Uh, let's go to the hospital. Garbage. May God watch over you. Um, let's check the... Quest real quick. There we go. Turn in the one that we just bought from my uh, from the shop there that doesn't have any special properties on it. Please come again. And we'll take a look at the professor. Boost stat increasing effects by 100% when using specials. Oh yeah, that's right. They, they uh, specialize in buffs. So they would actually be a useful character to have around. Actually, yeah. Let's let's make one here. What should we name them? Anyone got a suggestion? I can change it to that but for right now. Who should we go with? Thank you. 
Decisions, decisions. Sure, we'll go with that. I want to take all my hell. I'll go with average. Increase SP. Hi, equals 3.14159265. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. My calculations are always spot on. Take that! Can't go attacking. On. Experimenting. Beginning analysis. Thank you for your assistance. Hurrah! May I test this? Next sample is there. All right. I'll go with that one. Only have one color for the moment. I'm hungry. Let's talk business. Now we need to get them equipped. Also need to put them in this group. I was hoping for something to increase skills, but I guess not. Sorted. I'll get you that. And let's see, do we have it's fancy? That actually, that one's pretty good. And I think, uh, that one. Frank. Last proficiency might be good. Uh, 
I think there were some shoes that gave, yeah, skill improvement. That actually... Let's swap that out for another skill improvement. Is there a skill improvement? Yeah, there we go. Oh, look at that description. A reference. Let's get them. Let's go over to squad formation here. Change this over. Go to here. Slightly reduce that and increase class proficiency some. that also. Yeah. And we go to the juice bar. We do have some mana already. Go to the skill shop. I know you don't have mana. That mana was how much the juice bar had. Give you a thousand. skill shop. see how that does. In any case, I hope you have been enjoying. As always, likes and comments are very much appreciated. Subscribe for more if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.